Ladies and gentlemen, hot off the presses, we've just had a dangerous bisexual ejaculation from the sun. That's right. You could die. Uh, not today, though, or tomorrow. I mean, I guess you could. Okay, wait, what's happening? The science, we're getting to it. An explosion has happened on the sun. A dark magnetic filament bisecting. See, there's where the bisecting joke came in. Sunspot AR2765 has erupted on June 9th, 1800 UT. That stands for Utah and Utah time. NOAA analysts are examining the event to see if it hurled any material towards Earth. We're seeing if the sun gave Earth a facial. Stay tuned for updates. I'm in a weird mood. Maybe I put something in the description that was like, warning, Thor's in a weird mood. If you like coronal mass ejections, the Thor new solar science is for you. Did you see it? It happened. Yeah, baby. I should have warned you about it. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and cut down on the the juvenile jokes. But see if you can spot it. We're definitely getting some activity out of AR2765, and that was it. And so it should have bang! There it was, a filament popping off. Was it in our direction? We will have to stay tuned. Will it kill you? Probably not, but that won't stop. The YouTube videos that'll say, oh my God, we are totally in danger. And it looks like it was low and outside. So no facial for Earth. I would be, it's be my guess. You know, if, if somehow it does pop us in the face and kill us, your last thought could be Thor News told me wrong. But I, I don't think we're in major danger from this. But it is interesting, and it is showing that the sun is starting to wake up, so better days are ahead, my friends. You know, yeah, all the stress is probably getting to me, but talking to you makes me feel better. So thank you for being there for me. Yep, that's some activity. The sun is getting more active every day, and that is good news because empires rise and fall on solar maximums and solar minimums. And we have been in a deep space age, solar minimum. My guess for like two or three years has been that we would come out of solar minimum in July. We are almost in July. I'm guessing we'll see our first X-Class solar flare in July, hopefully. I will get to make out with a female X-Men in July, or technically August. But we can hold hands until August, you know? Anywho. So yeah. Days are crazy. Times are wild. 2020 is no joke. And my super bad mood is just now bad mood. So I am hugging you through the internets. Um, I just grabbed your butt. Sorry about that. What has gotten into me? The sun's getting all playful. I'm getting all playful. Somebody out there is like, this isn't funny. And I'm like, okay, it's not funny, but it is interesting. Okay. So yeah, be on the lookout for increasing activity in things. If you like pina coladas, but I prefer strawberry daiquiris with whipped cream on top. True story. I would, why would I lie about fruity drinks that I like, man? Seriously. What has gotten through your mind to make you think that I would lie about the fruity drinks that I do like? A good strawberry daiquiri is delicious. It tastes almost better than a Slurpee. And it gives you a buzz. Especially if you drink three of them. But that would be expensive. Because strawberry daiquiri is expensive. Man, I haven't had a strawberry daiquiri in like a year. Okay. But you see that black box? Man, and when Solar Maximum returns, so will probably my editing skills. And my super concentration. And my motivation to make the coolest videos on the planet. Because it's been hard to stay focused in 2020. Just because there's so much happening all the time. And the negative energy just keeps pouring in. Black box. Boom. Did you see it? I'm showing you all the wavelengths. Because I like to give you my sign. If it just had a weird interruption. It's because my disc ran out of space, baby. Irony? Probably not. Yeah, I'm just giving you guys multiple looks. 
in multiple dimensions with an asterisk at this filament pop-up. So you can decide whether to freak out and be like, oh my God, we're all gonna, we're all gonna die. Probably not, it looks, it looks south. And this is Solar Cycle 25, action. But I wanna say again, I love you, I appreciate you, I think you're cool, and I'm glad you're here. And this is loading slow. So I'd better think of something interesting to say as it shows us the images it's going to show us. It almost looks like a face. See, there's an eye, eye, there's its nostrils, there's its mustache. And then it's got, it just spit out some fettuccine. Whoa. Yeah, so. I don't think it's Doom. I do think it's interesting, though. See, it's interesting. And it's visually interesting and i need to buy a thesaurus or um i need to go to comedy school just showing you multiple views of the incident that was solar and activity the sun is a mystery and here we're taking a look at nasa's soho lasco c2 cameras and hoping to get a good image of the pop-off because I don't want to disappoint you um so far we're getting nothing so far this is like uh Al Capone's vault I'm feeling a lot like Geraldo Rivera oh look there is a solar eruption can you barely see it oh okay well I was hoping it would be cooler technically it's not totally over um we're getting in the swing of things. See the blue line? Oh, okay. So here comes the big dance. We're getting there. It's going to be exciting. I can feel it. I got faith that it's going to be exciting. It's going to be worth the wait. Yes, it is. I'm going to feel like a jerk if nothing happens. I'm already starting to feel like a jerk. Where's my bang? Where's my boom? There's no bang boom. Oh. All right. So... <laughs> But could you see it? It was like, you could see it. Okay. All right. I wanted to be cooler. I'm sorry. My solar videos will get better as Solar Maximum picks up. I promise you. All right. Everybody stay cool. I love you. Have a great day. Peace out. And you're cool.